Good morning everybody and welcome back to Devon Lee Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name is Nicole Reed and today we are here for DD Stitchmas Day 2. Today we are working on Hol Holiday Quaker, not Halloween Quaker, Holiday Quaker by Leela Studios. So let's get started. Okay, so yesterday we got this motif done and I done a little bit extra yesterday. I got pretty busy, had a lot of people coming and going, deliveries and all that sort of stuff for the store, so I kept getting interrupted. I ended up getting another couple of hours into it overall the day. Um, so yeah, so we are now just starting to build that motif and coming across. Uh, it's a little bit easier today, I don't have my bars to contend with on my frame, so it probably will go a little bit quicker. Um, I can hear a little pussycat at the door meowing, so if you can hear that, I'm sorry. That is my um, daughter's new kitten that um, is looking for her because she's gone to school today. So, And I've locked her out of the studio so she can't jump everywhere. Oh, that. So yeah. Alright, so let's start getting some stitches in, hey? So how is everybody this morning? I hope you are all well. I am under the pump a little bit. I missed the post office yesterday, um, so I've got to get down there just after I finish doing this. I'm um, going to duck down to the post office and get some stuff into the mail. The ones that uh, were in prepay bags, they went via the, the post box down the end of the road, but um, I actually missed the post office. I was spewing. I missed it by five minutes. I just kept getting held up, so, you know, but them's the breaks, as they say. All right, so hi. It's a little bit lighter today. Uh, we've got a very hot day. It was uh, when I just checked before. It was already um, 30 degrees. So yeah, not real pleasant here in Kingaroy at the moment. But I am enjoying not having to worry too much about people dropping quilts off or being super busy. That's taken a little bit of pressure off, which is really good. Um, I have a few things on planned for today. So what have you all got planned for today? Don't forget to leave me a comment and, and tell me also what you stitched on, if you stitched along with me or crafted along. Um, yeah. Or you just hung out for a little while and and relaxed and had a cuppa. It's always nice to take a little little bit of time for yourself, even if you don't do any crafting. You can just sit there and relax. So little Em has gone back to school today. She's a lot better. Um, she had a bit of a high temperature the day before. That's why I had to go and quickly pick her up from school. Um, on her graduation day, I picked her up early because she wasn't feeling the best. But um, that seems to have dissipated. So I gave her some medicine for it. And she was jumping around like a lunatic yesterday. Um, I've been yeah just monitoring her and whatnot but um she's gone back to school today she wanted to stay home and play with the kitten I said no you have to go to school mima has got lots and lots of things to do and being so hot it would be a lot easier for her to be at school because she'll be in the air conditioning most of the day whereas I'm going to be in and out of the house and and if she's still feeling a little bit under the weather like she's not coughing or sneezing or anything like that just had just a little bit under the weather so, um, yeah, so I thought it would be better off her down, down at daycare and they can ring me if she gets, if, if anything goes wrong, but she was fine this morning. She was bouncing all over the place yesterday. Um, so I think she's fine. I'm probably just overthinking it yes, as grandmas do and whatnot. Um, I'm going to insert a little picture here of her graduation so you can see a few people asked um, by a message and email yesterday if they could see her graduation picture 
that I talked about so I will insert that here and um, you can just see how happy she is. They're, they're the uh, three photos that um, I got a lot more, a lot more photos than that. I got a whole USB stick with a ton of photos on it. Um, but they are the three most favourite ones of mine. Um, a lot of the other ones were her at play. So what um, they have a school, like a teacher's assistant. Um, so there's three adults in her classroom and they all take turns um, taking photos so they do a rotational and basically so you get a different take you know what one teacher finds interesting that she's doing another teacher might not so it's a really good um, collection of photos and of her for the last six months um, of pre-prep other schools do it too, but not to this extent. I've never seen it done to this extent. So it's um, really good. It's really nice because we don't get to see them playing at, at daycare because we're busy working, busy adulting. And that, so it's really, really nice. And I suppose it's, it, it's really nice for those um, women and gentlemen that have um, kids at daycare from a very young age so they don't get to miss out on much and I'll tell you the babies are so cute I'm, I'm not sort of a like that sort of person where I goo and gar over over babies um don't get me wrong I like babies but yeah I'm not one of those that go long clucky over babies um so yeah but it's really cute when you see the um the ones that are walking so not the baby babies the the toddler room and they're like and their teacher looks like a giant compared to them more walking and um yeah <laughs> and they all do as they're told and they all line up and they just look so adorable even Mia goes oh they're so cute and you know and you, the ones that are um are really well behaved they stand there and they wait and then you've got you know the couple that are just a little bit unruly and trying to upset the apple cart and you can just see their personalities coming through and they're all so gorgeous and you know like you never at this daycare center you never hear any kids crying ever you'll hear babies crying coming in um that are with their mums that are going back out again but all the kids that you know because they've been woken up or whatever but all the kids that attend the school you never hear them crying it is amazing I have never known a daycare that has never had crying kids like even out in the playground all the everybody is just so happy at this school and it's great and it comes through in the children it really does like um, you know we have our days where Mia's a little bit how you going um, she's quite a stubborn girl and uh, she likes things so, just so like this morning you know like I said to her we were running late I said oh, just chuck your stuff in on the back seat but because the routine is to put stuff into the boot of the car so the buckles of our bags don't wreck the seats of the car mate, she wasn't having any of it she kept me to my little routine so <laughs> I'm like okay fine fine just put it in we've got to go quick 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 let's go and then I get home and I couldn't do anything anyway because my husband was still here and his truck was parked right out the front. So, um, yeah. It's a little bit noisy when he starts that. So, we've only got about, I think we've only got about a week left of school for Nerali. They break up next Wednesday, breaking up two days earlier this year. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, but anyway, they are. So, um, some of you may have noticed that I've got the um, Q-snap around the other way. I'm stitching it in the, I think they call it in the well. So I'm just trying different techniques. I actually like this way because um, I didn't run into this side bar or the top bar so it made it a little bit easier so I'm thinking that this is how I'm going to set my um, Q-snap up from now on um, not that I use the Q-snap very often but 
for projects like this where I'm on camera I do so I'm just tracking where I'm at okay so I think that's the other flower comes out there yep I better cross these off otherwise I'm going to get lost aren't I so I hope you enjoy are enjoying stitching along with me um I put my as I said I've I've done stitch with me's and I usually do them live I've never done them pre-recorded so it's a little bit strange because I don't have that um, conversational prompt and like I'm so socially awkward I, I'm not real good at, at small talk um, <laughs> and, and all the rest of it and yeah I'm pretty socially awkward and I'm, qu I'm quite a, a shy person in large um, crowds and stuff like that and it's quite odd sitting here just chit chatting and it seems like you know it's all about me sort of thing <laughs> and it's a little bit weird um but I, I i hope that you're enjoying it and um that you're getting some stitching in or just as i said earlier just taking that five minutes or half an hour just to take a a breath and be in the moment and um enjoy the uh the peacefulness of just being um, I always like to just sometimes not do anything as you can tell I'm quite a busy little beaver when it comes to crafting and stuff like that I've always got my hands into something I even had my hands into gluing this morning um, I think I got most of it off that's why my I haven't put nail polish or anything on um, to my nails because I or, or got them done because I knew that I was going to be using E6000 and ultimate glue and all sorts of stuff in the in the next few days so I thought uh, yeah that'll just wreck my nail polish so I won't worry about that so I do excuse the uh, state of my hands at the moment but uh, I'm sure those that craft and use glue and hot glue and all the rest of it totally get it all right where are we going here two and two. okay we're cutting across here now just cross that off again A little bit directionally challenged at times but I get there in the end I'm actually really looking forward to seeing what the progress is going to be on this one so thank you to those that uh, commented yesterday as well and were telling me What's happening in their part of the world we've got a couple of uk ladies and they were saying that the lockdown is getting lifted um i think wednesday at midnight um the wednesday before um christmas at midnight so um people can move around a friend of mine liz she's a i've been a long-term online friend from the uk hi liz how you going um, she watches all my videos um, she always leaves me encouraging comments and she's been one of my greatest supporters so um, hey Liz <laughs> I'm so glad that you get to go and spend time with your son and your daughter-in-law and your grandbabies that's so exciting so exciting um, yeah so she's in she's in London itself I'm not sure how locked down London is um that's sort of my bad i haven't i've sort of been keeping off um new sites and and all the rest of it lately because um i just I, I just go down the rabbit hole when i watch them so um and i've been super busy and i just need to have a bit of a break from that all right sorry i just have to keep marking um as i'm going because this is a little it's this here repeated um but I don't want to, to make a mistake so I'm just crossing off as I go and that my little um spooky owls come out to play um he's all sparkly and he's got a little spider on his hat and all the rest of it he's come out to play today because um, he fell out of my bag so I thought oh well he wants to come out and play I started doing whip wranglers yesterday. I spun up pina colada and I'll just insert a picture in here. You can see that there. That is the pina colada chart. I'll have to put 300 stitches into that. I got a couple of hundred in last night, um, but I was just really tired and wanted to go to sleep. So I just put it aside. I'll finish that off today and roll the dice again and see what else I'm 
um, working on. Now, I know that I'm going to be recording every day and uploading every day. Um, so what I'm going to do is for my floss tube, I will do a quick floss tube at the beginning and then at the end of the video it will be um, the stitchmas. So it will be both videos in one. And I was also going to be um, putting up a diamond painting. I'm actually going to hold that off to Sunday. Um, and I'm not going to do a, a stitch miss on Sunday. I will do a stitch miss on Monday and it'll be day seven. Is it day seven? I don't know. I can't even remember. Day six and seven together. Um, so yeah, so basically, um, and I'll put up my diamond painting because I've had a few people going, is it going up this week? So yes, it is. So, but on Sunday, it was going to go up today. But this was a sort of a last minute decision to um, film these, so. All right, one, two, one more. Loving working on this um, 32 count by Sew It All. Um, from, I got it from Sew It All Australia, and it's just a, looks like blue cloud sort of thing. Like, it's a blue sparkly one with sort of mottling in it that looks a little bit like clouds. Not gone too far up. The grain's crooked, so it's buggering me up. Oh, that's right. And that's right, according to the chart. <laughs> I get scared with these. I'm going to make a wrong move. So, just double check. Yep, that's right. Okay, so now I'll go across. It just looks a little bit, it doesn't look even. I think I need to just readjust so you can see here, up here that the um, fabric's not straight in the Q-snap, but the grain, like I've just run my needle along that line of um, holes and it is matching up, so I'm all good. I'm not one out. So it just looked like it was. Phew! It's all right, we can take a breath now. Yeah, so I decided this was a sort of last minute thing. I was just going to record every second day and then I thought, you know what, I'll just go, you know, all in and record every day. I've never done an everyday recording before, so um, it's good though because I can leave things set up in my studio when I just come back out and put the phone up and then um, start recording. One, two... Now I've got different music at the um, outro and on the intro, uh, that is Compliments of Mia, Mia picked the music for that. We sat here yesterday, um, uh, not yesterday, day before, and um, we had a little bit of a look for some music and that was the one that she bopped out to the most to. She goes, that one, that one, so she, she likes helping me with that sort of stuff. So yeah. Okay, yep, that's looking right. <laughs> yeah, the first motif is very important because you're going to be counting off that motif. So you want to be um, doing it correctly. And I think I just got all caught up. Uh, Oh, there we go that's it just got caught up a little bit at the end all right I'm going to end this thread and start with another one so I will just park that over down here and I'll tie that off later and then I have my next one I'm just going to sit that there and I'm going to move my little gingerbread man down here and he is going to mine that park thread for me Okay. All right, now where am I heading? I'm going to be heading along here. So I'm going to put my waist knot 
there. All right. It's so easy to, to start a new um, thread when you're using that waste knot method. You just yeah, just go for it and it's done, it's dusted, you don't have to flip your work over. And I sort of just keep going now and um, yeah, and basically I know that the thread is covered by the X's that I'm doing and then um, I can just snip it off and then these threads that I'm leaving at the top um, that I'm finished with I just yeah I might have four or five of them and then I just flip my work over and then I just weave them through and then they're done Alright. Oh, I just come up in the wrong hole then. One too far over. So the colour I am using today, in case you missed that yesterday, is Cypress by Weeks Dye Works. Um, I'm using this in place of cucumber. So the one that it called for was a gentle um, art sampler thread uh, called uh, called cucumber, and um, I could not get that. It was sold out everywhere that I shop. So I just thought, well, I'll just do a little bit of a conversion. So what I do is I, and I know that the computer is not a true testament to the color, but sometimes you can get it pretty close. So basically what I um, I done is I just got on the computer, onto the Googles, and basically um, put in cucumber from Gentle R Sampler and bring up the, um, bring up the, the, um, sorry, I'm just counting again, bring up the colour, and, um, and then I just look through my week's dye works and get as close as I can to to that colour and um, it just yeah it makes life so much easier because uh, when I first started cross stitching I uh, Fat Quarter Shop had quite a number of different packs in the week's dye works I, th I do believe they still have them um, and I think there was like 10 20 maybe I can't remember anyway they were about $50 a pack that's all I remember and um, yeah so I grabbed uh, a Christmas a spring and neutral so the neutrals were like primitive colors and um, a couple of other ones I can't remember what I grabbed are so brights and what else was there it was Christmas bright spring summer the prim like the neutrals like the the primitive colors and I think that's all I got from memory but that was a lot of floss that I got in one hit and it was good because it built my collection straight away so and a lot of time um, what I'll do is it might not like I might be doing a chart and it'll have a called for color and then I've got one that is a similar color but not quite the color I'll just use that instead um, so, you know, like there's a couple of different sorts of greys and then um, it might call for, you know, graphite and I'll use porpoise instead. Um, yeah, so I've done that a couple of times as well. I'll get as close as I can to it. Um, but they're starting to get a little bit low, so I'm going to end up getting onto, I think I might end up getting onto the Fat Quarter Shop um, and maybe get a couple more of those packs or what I could do is probably, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll actually contact um, A Stitch in Time because I'm pretty sure they have a Floss of the Month club. Don't quote me on that, but I will go and check that. Um, 
if anybody's got the Down the Rabbit Hole magazine, I'm pretty sure it's in the article um, that she's got those coming up in the Q&A. So, um, yeah, I might actually get onto her today and um, see where she's at with that, whether that's started yet or not. And if it has, I might jump on board with that because I do like using the Weeks Dye Works. Um, I mean, for me, they're much of muchness, whether it's a color, um, classic colour works or whether it's Weeks Dye Works or it is um, Gentle Arts Sampler threads. They're pretty much the same thing. They're an over-dyed thread. Um, but I do like working with the Weeks and the... Um, because uh, probably because I've got a lot of them. I, there's no particular reason why, it's just because I've got a lot of them. Okay, that's just um, come out. My little ginger man is not doing his job today. Pop him there. There we go. Okay, he just minds my open my um, empty needles. All right, we're going to come across here, and we're going to go in there. <laughs> Helps if you go in the right hole, there, Nicole. So we're starting to gear up for Christmas here. We don't tend to put our Christmas tree up until um, the 19th. We do, we observe um, a tradition in our family that the tree goes up on the 19th and it comes down before the, the end of the year. So we take it down on New Year's Eve um, because we don't take the old into the new. So that is a tradition that my family has done for many many years um, my mum sort of bucked the trend a little bit um, and sort of went you know out like everybody else and put the tree up on um, on the the first but I have always sort of just gone with um, what my grandma and grandfather did and that was to um, Put the tree up on the 19th and then down on the 31st uh, on the 31st yeah so superstitious yes but it's how that's what we do the kids know um that they ask me occasionally can they put it up earlier but this year i sort of want to say like if the um narrowly likes to put things up early and and all the rest of it um but with the new kitten i don't really want to go there <laughs> That is going to end up messy for sure. All right, I just have to count because I've got to travel a little bit. Check that. Yep. I just find it easier to do it with a counting pin. I don't know why. Like it's no different than using my hand, but I don't know. I think my vision gets distracted that my hand's there, whereas when it's just oh, look at that, I missed the hole and went in the wrong one. Just have to um, pull that out. Grab my needle threader. All right, try that again, hey. will look like the correct size. Oof, going over one, that's a bit harsh. 32 count. Ooh wee. So how dainty would that be though? Alright. So we're going to be building a little like half a star in here by the looks of it. I wasn't too sure about the opalescent because it feels so um feels a little bit rough but um, 
And I thought that that may have been the factor of the thread splitting yesterday, but I haven't had a thread split since, so um, I really it must have just been a weak point in that piece of floss that um, I encountered yesterday, so... All right, so yeah, so this is like half a f half a star it looks like on the um, chart. So similar to these ones over here, except it doesn't have this little motif. It's got two little squares off to the side, so it should go pretty quick. And you can see today I'm going a lot quicker than I was yesterday, um, and that was purely because the bar underneath was sort of in my way and um, it was a little bit cumbersome but um, getting this section done yesterday um, sort of alleviates that problem now it's just this section here is the hardest thing to do um, once I got that done I sort of started cruising along and getting it all sorted so did anybody watch uh, Gail's advent calendar opening yesterday she put up her first one that was um quite interesting to see the they're a decent sized pot of um fairy floss too like i was quite surprised at how big they were like when she said it was an advent calendar i just thought oh yeah you know a little bit of bit of um fairy floss but no they're a decent size i was quite surprised and that um t2 one that looks pretty awesome I might um, look at getting that for Savannah next year. She's a bit of a teetotaler. She likes the, the old tea. She's got like a myriad of cups with all different um, sayings on them. And then she's got like a ton of teas. I could almost do my own advent calendar with the amount of tea she's got. <laughs> but it's going to be interesting to see I can't, I, I'm sort of I'm looking forward to watching it every day just to see if there's a really you know like those jelly beans to see if there's like a, a not so nice one so if you haven't watched it come over and join in the fun um, I think she's putting them up in the evening I'm not 100% sure but the first one's up there anyway so you'll be able to go over and watch that and um, because I mean Gail also has a day job as well so um, but yeah I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing her reaction on all the teas. The one she had last night sounded so yummy. So yeah, and the, the fairy floss apparently there's all sorts of flavours that they have. Um, I can't remember the name of the company, it's here in Australia so it wasn't something that she got from overseas. Um, and I'm pretty sure she's got all that information underneath her video, so you can go over and have a look. I'm just trying to remember to drink because my throat has been very scratchy and I don't want to lose my voice. So sorry if you can hear me drinking, I do apologise. And I've also got my morning coffee on the go. Alright. So what I'll do is we'll finish this thread off for today and um, and then that will be that video and I'll get some more stitches in a little bit later and you'll be able to see the progress. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can get a lot of a lot more progress on this one um, today. Uh, still got some binding and stuff to do for customers but um, I'm getting through that pretty quick. So yeah. Um, I've got a couple of more project bags to cut out as well so because I kept getting interrupted yesterday but I have no appointments today and I'm not expecting any deliveries which is good I do have to pay for some stock after this little stitching session so yeah I'm really enjoying doing it because I 
am getting so much progress on this so it's um yeah just curious to know whether I'll get bored with it or not <laughs> I'll probably do this um the stitch with me and then won't touch it again but as I said yesterday we do have this uh, I do have my silks for you um, advent and basically I'm going to open one a day up until Christmas and basically yeah so I'm going to um, do a little bit of stitching and then during the video open up that um, day's little present and see what I got and uh, do a little bit more stitching so yeah so going forward up until Christmas uh, all my floss tubes will have a stitch with me at the end of them so they will be pretty much just um, probably an extra 20 minutes or something like that of stitching it they won't be a, a real long um, stitch with me so but then again you know you get into that zone and and before you know it, an hour has passed. Like, I'm pretty sure I've already gone over the 30 minute mark right now. Alright, so you can see how quick that is going along. And I'm almost finished this one. And then I'll start on the next leg of it. I do love these Quakers. They're so cute. Alright, now where do I gotta go? I've gotta go up here. And having that board, a couple of weeks ago you would have watched on my floss tube, I got a magnetic board that stands up like a, it's got a kickstand on it, so it stands up like a frame. That is absolutely amazing because I have, I've got it sitting here off to the side and it just makes it super easy to just glance over. Um, I don't necessarily have to mark off every time either. So like, for, especially for these little sorts of motifs, they're, they're quite easy and they're just a repeat of what I've already done. But I can have a quick glance to see what the spacing is and and then once I'm finished it, I can cross it off. So, um, yeah, it's it's making it a lot easier to um, see. So when I get my Dubco frame, which is my big um, sofa frame, I will um, I will actually probably get some sort of frame attachment so I can um, have my work in front of me and uh, all the rest of it. All right, well, I'm going to sign off because we're getting close to the 40-minute mark. I just checked then. Uh, have a great day, everybody. I hope you're enjoying the stitch with me. If you are new here and you've just found me, uh, don't forget to hit that like button and also you hit the subscribe and the little bell button as well, and that way you won't miss out on any future posts. And as always, the Buy Me A Coffee link is down below for anybody that feels um, inclined and like this video to uh, purchase me a coffee, which I am actually saving for... Um, I should say buy me a camera um, <laughs> because that's what I'm saving up for uh, a digital camera so again thank you so much for joining me for day two of uh, DD Stitchmas and I'll see you all again tomorrow bye for now